Hello, Cancer. I just want <clears throat> you to know how much I love you. <clears throat> First, I want to apologize for the fact that your reading is late. Two, back to how much I love you. And it's because I had to sit here and grapple with myself about my hot wings because I wanted hot wings and I said I can go to hot wings. And then I was like, but that would be so wrong because I was like, you know, after you eat the hot wings, you know you're going to want to like lay down, you know, watch some TV, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to want to go to bed and stuff, you know, because tomorrow's Wellness Wednesday, you know, which is the day that I've designated for Princess Wellness, you know? I'm the only person who celebrates that holiday, you know? It's my self-care day, you know? But I had to think really hard. Every facet in my being I wanted to go get my hot wings, but I said, you know what? It's just wrong for me to upload Capricorn and Virgo and just leave Cancer out like that. So, we're here, Cancer. We're here. I love you, man. Love you. I don't want to be sexist, so, and woman, too, you know. But anywho, welcome to your October 2018 reading. <laughs> so, we're going to jump right in and see what's going on with you guys for the month of October. <clears throat> so, Spirit, please. Give us clear and direct guidance for cancer for the month of October and what's not all whatever. But we already know that the guidance is going to be clear because that's what you do. It's what we do. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, clear and direct guidance for my cancers. Two more times and we're done, cancer. Two more times and we're done. I don't know why this southern accent is working for me today, but I think it's very becoming of me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I said two more times, didn't I? I was going to make a Mississippi joke there, but I'm not going to do it. Louisiana is number two. The worst education system in the country, and Mississippi's number one. That's all I'm going to say. Sorry, people from Mississippi, you know I love you. Got to poke fun at y'all. in Southern drawl. I love you. <laughs> so, anywho. First three cards we have for Cancer. First card, ooh, is the star card, son of a gun. The next is the Hierophant. I feel like somebody's gonna come at me with some statistics. It's like, oh no, y'all are back at number one. <laughs> the third card that we have is the Queen of Cups. Very interesting. So here's the deal. I feel like Cancer is in a contemplative state this month. Um, I feel like you guys have become very, very clear on who you are and what you want, right? So, and I mean this in a past tense sense. So I feel like in the recent past, or even distant past, but whatever, the past, dag nabbit, <laughs> you guys have become very clear on who you are and what you want. So I feel like you guys have almost like internalized like this vision of how it is that you see yourselves right and i feel like right now you guys are like in this contemplative state because you're seeing how much what you desire or what you want or what your concept of happiness is how much that kind of doesn't match up <clears throat> with like everyday life right so I kind of feel like you guys are, are trying to reconcile within yourself how it is that you can be yourself like in the world, if that makes sense. So um, I'm not really sure what that's relating to. So I don't know if it's um, OK, say hypothetically, if you feel like, you know, uh, you want to be like a painter, right? <laughs> but, um, you know, you're married and you got kids, right? And you're trying to reconcile with yourself how you follow your dreams and still maintain taking care of your responsibilities. So I feel like, I almost feel like you guys were like high. I mean, not like high, but I mean like, you know, high in the sense of like being, you know, uh, euphoric, right? <laughs> you could have been high. I don't, I don't really, I don't know your life like that. But anyway. So you were guys, you guys were in this euphoria, whether, you know, energetically or chemically induced. And when you kind of came down, proverbially speaking, 
there it 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 was incongruent like you saw it clearly you felt an alignment but there's an incongruence and you guys are kind of going back within yourselves to kind of reconcile that because and it's kind of reminded me of um capricorn a little bit um in essence i mean not like literally but i mean like in essence in the sense that the vision you got isn't aligning with reality and you're trying to make sense of that like why would you show me that if that's not possible you know what i mean like that kind of deal so i feel like you guys are kind of going back within and kind of skimming through whatever revelation you guys had or whatever feeling you had trying to find a way to make this tangible okay so next three cards we have is the ten of wands we have the four cups and we have the five of cups okay yes my cancer bae you guys are shit <laughs> so i feel like you guys are feeling kind of burdened by this because you're un you're unhappy i don't know why i hesitated saying that just now um it may be because you are having trouble saying that okay well this message just came and I'm just gonna go with it so some of you guys are in committed relationships or marriages and you're literally not happy. Um, it's become very um, unfulfilling. Like, uh, it, I guess cumbersome is my new word for this month. But it's almost like, um, and I feel this in a sense of like, if this is people who've been together for a while, and this could be, um, this could be um, Aquarius or Taurus, but I, I'm feeling this in the sense, like almost if you, okay, like if this is a married couple and you guys got married like when you were 18, like out of high school or something, and like say now you're like in your mid 40s, right? And it's like who you guys were then and who you are now are like two different people. And I feel like one of you, or it could be possibly both of you, but I'm really seeing it as like one of you got a renewed sense of self. You know what I'm saying? And one person is going in alignment with that. So they're trying to manifest what it is that, that they were given. So they're focused on themselves. And now the other person is feeling like, uh like sad <laughs> depressed uh left out in the cold it's very downtrodden feelings um so it, it it may be cancer that found themselves or maybe it's a person that cancer is with that found themselves but um yeah but whatever the case may be whether this is cancer or it's a person that they're with it's like this person is legit um doing their thug fizzle like they're doing their thing it's like they found their happiness and they're they're doing that and i and 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 to go kind of back to what i was saying in the beginning about um like trying to reconcile how this vision of the self makes sense in everyday life it very well may be because of the relationship. It may be that who you see yourself being no longer is in alignment with this relationship that you're in. It, it like it doesn't fit, you know. And um, I feel like where this contemplative state is coming in, and I'm just gonna stick with like the first cards being Cancer, just because you know with the Queen of Cups being here, I'm just gonna go with <clears throat> go with that. But this can be interchangeable. But the vibe that I'm getting is that um, cancer or whomever, they got a vision of, of who they are and where their happiness can lie. Like what wish fulfillment and authentic happiness would look like for them. And they are trying to find a way to create that in the 3D realm, so to speak. And this other person is kind of feeling left out of that. You know what I mean? And I... It's like I understand, I get that, because that's always like a tough thing, because I mean, you want a person to find themselves and to find what makes them happy, but it's like when you're not a part of that, of course, that's, that's difficult, but the thing that I'm seeing for 
this person, the other person is there's a level of truth that you need to have with yourself because you're really not that happy either. You know what I'm saying? It's like you felt burdened by this. And I feel like in the sense of whatever it is that this person did. So like I said, I'm sticking with cancer. So with my first three cards with like the star and all of that, whatever this person did, like, I don't know. And I said this in another reading, like if they went on a yoga retreat, you know, or an ayahuasca shaman uh, vision quest, whatever the case may be, I feel like a part of you knew that when they came back, it's like they would they would find their truth. I feel like on a on on some level or another, you knew that this was going to happen. So I don't know if it was like literally a retreat or if you guys separated for a temporary time. I don't know what it is. But a part of you knew this person was going to see their truth of who and what they are, but you were kind of holding on to a glimmer of hope that they wouldn't see their truth. Because I feel like you knew if they saw it, that they would not want to be with you anymore. Because I think, and I'm not saying this like in an ugly way, but I'm saying in the sense that it's like you kind of already knew this. Like you already knew that you guys were like incongruent. Like you really were not, y'all were not vibing on the same level. So it's like kind of how I'm feeling this is like a relationship that's like the tower before the tower falls. <laughs> but in the sense of it being stagnant and it being a prison, you know what I'm saying? It's like a loveless relationship or marriage that has kind of morphed into a roommate situation so it's like two people who are here more or less because of security reasons um or convenience or um it's just easier but i feel like on both ends it was it was discontentment because i feel like both of you guys were kind of just like playing a role but the only difference is that so you both were feeling that discontentment and um you know, it, it was bringing both of you guys kind of just like sorrow and just really stagnant energy in both of your lives. So it's almost like it was holding both of you back. But the only key is here is either this is cancer or it's the other person, the cross watcher, you know, that made the decision to instead of staying here to figure out like what is it that's going to bring life back into my life. And they found that, you know, and. Our next three cards, we have Judgment, we have the Chariot, wow, and we have the Eight of Cups. Y'all, I'm actually kind of glad that I did this before I ate. Um, yeah, dog. I'm looking at the fact that these four major arcanas that are here, that they're right underneath each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, and with the, did I show them to you? I can't remember <laughs> the judgment, um, the chariot and the eight of cups. I think I did show them to you already, but the thing that I'm seeing here is guys, is that, um, this awakening that cancer or whomever this is resonates with had and them coming into alignment with their truth. Like, and I, I, I hate to say this because I, I uh, and like I said, if this does not resonate with you, because this is like more from where I'm at right now, this is like more coupley than I'm really getting single people. But, you know, I don't want to jump around. So I'll tune into that in a second. But I'm just going with what it is that I'm seeing first. OK, so with this situation and if this is your situation this is not going to be a shock to you so if you are freaking out right now and about to pick up your phone and like call your partner like this probably is not your situation so these are two people who know this i'm just putting words to what it is that both of these people already knew and have known this for a very long time and the thing that i'm seeing is <clears throat> it's time for you guys to let each other go and to release this, because like I said, it's like both of you staying here for the wrong reasons has held both of you up from what it is that spirit has for you in the bigger picture. So it's almost like beating a dead horse in a sense. But the thing that I'm seeing with the judgment is that both of you are being called out of this situation and onto the paths that both of you belong on. 
and I see both of you moving forward successfully with the chariot and going um, in the direction of what it is that's more in alignment with you. So the positive news of all of this is that a chapter is indeed ending in you guys' lives, right? So, um, and it, it's it's interesting because it's <laughs> it's almost like okay, so you guys had this and you you wasn't about that life. Like when you you guys being together, you were like miserable together. But now that you know it's over, it's like. I feel like you guys are going to be in a temporary sadness of like, you know, regret and so on and so forth. But I just find that intriguing because it's like, you know, you guys knew like you weren't happy there. But suddenly when it becomes official, official, I feel like both of you guys are going to kind of get sad and be thinking about like, did I make the right decision? So on and so forth. But I feel like going forward, it's going to become very clear to both of you because I, I kind of feel it energetically. Like once both of you guys officially sever whatever this is, so whether it's marriage or if it's a relationship that's been going on for a long time or a situation that's been going on for a long time, two people who've been going back and forth, knowing good and well, they wasn't happy with the person, whatever the case may be. Once you guys sever ties and either one of you put your foot on to the path and the direction of what your soul is crying out for it's like instantly things are going to fall into alignment so it's almost like that step in that direction is going to be that igniter where things start to take off quickly putting both of you on your respective paths that you're supposed to be on and looking at this overall this very well could be a, a cancer person and a taurus person so if all this is resonating with you and um, you're a Cancer and a Taurus, that potentially either one of you has uh, Aquarius in your chart, that's a possibility, but heavily what I'm seeing is um, Cancer and Taurus. But the thing that I'm seeing is here, you guys, is just this is a major wrap up, but the beautiful thing about it is the fact that both of you are going on the respective paths that you're supposed to be on. You know what I mean? And if you feel the need to grieve, I mean, rightfully so, but um, I see this as just reminding yourself of the truth of the situation. And I feel like it's that both of you guys have been kind of over this for a good little while, right? <clears throat> and for, um, for my single people who... <laughs> <laughs> for my single people uh who aren't dating anyone i feel like you guys get like a double goodie because i feel like with you guys it's that same narrative of getting clear on like the authentic self and being ready to like bust out to the world you know but still having that moment where you're like how exactly am i gonna bust out to the world showing everybody like what i'm about you know what i'm saying that's kind of holding you back you know what i'm saying and <laughs> this is so cute so i feel like you guys are gonna be struggling with this with the queen of cups the ten of wands the four of cups and the five of cups i feel like this is gonna be the end of it because i more or less feel it like um it's grieving the loss of knowing that a lot of things in your life are about to change because of you uh revealing your truth whatever that is you know what i mean so um so like i said it's like the past tense was you guys getting the revelation currently while well, your recent past is you guys like going back within to try to figure out how to reconcile this with yourself and in the world right so presently i feel like you guys are kind of feeling burdened by that right and then with the four of cups it's like you're literally doubting right now it's like you know was i tripping you know was it just the ayahuasca you know <laughs> and it's like then you're gonna get kind of sad because you're gonna think you were just tripping you know what i'm saying like this could never happen i don't know why i thought i could do this this is too um 
what's the word outlandish like I don't know why I thought this so it's like I feel like you guys are struggling with like a lot of self-doubt you know what I mean and feeling like you know like this is a disappointment because you thought this was was like you know your thing but I just feel like because reality is is challenging your vision right now but what I say for my cancers is hold on guys because all right what's gonna happen i feel like some major shift is going to take place here with the judgment card and with the uh the chariot card and i feel like um not only with your personhood because i'm feeling this like with you individually as a person so like you know your life path and also with like a partnership it's and that would be interesting because the thing I just heard is almost like I'm seeing well the vision that I see this is so embarrassing when I describe my visions to people so the thing that I saw was like a aerial view of like this desert right and then all of a sudden it's like I see like two horses coming right so it's like they're coming around the bend and it's like they're running together at the same speed but the thing that I'm seeing the two horses as is like your person in like your life path thing so whether that's like career business whatever it is it's like both of these things like the desert and both of these two things are coming out of nowhere at the same time so i don't know if maybe your person is gonna work with you or y'all are gonna be in the same business industry or something of the sort <laughs> But I feel like this is going to be the little kick in the butt that's going to get you guys out this energy. Like, oh, this is about to be wiped away. You're going to be like, oh, that's what was going on. OK, let's go. And you guys are moving on in the direction back to the star card. So I just feel like with my single cancer peoples, did I say peoples? That's so cute. OK, with my single cancer peoples, let's go with it. My single cancer peoples. I feel like you guys right now are going through a temporary bet of self-doubt, right? Because your dream seems kind of unrealistic right now. But Spirit about to get your life together real quick because you about to get new bay, new vision manifested all day day. And you're going to inadvertently circle right back around to this high, happy, ayahuasca, euphoric, whatever thing it was that you were feeling adjectives 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 <laughs> in your recent past so um yeah hold on man keep believing don't stop believing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay i don't know what that was i did just now Maybe somebody's a boxer. I don't know. I'm trying to find a way to not embarrass myself for whatever that dance move was. But anywho, <laughs> that's all I got for you guys. Um, yeah, that's very, very specific. That's very, very specific. Uh, I hope it's not anything as serious as like, uh, like a marriage breaking up. If so, my my love goes out to you. But I don't. And like I said. It's not for everybody. If this is new news to you, it's nine times out of ten probably not your situation. But um, I feel like this is this is a couple that already knew this. Like you guys already knew that you know the thrill was gone type of deal. But like I said, beautiful thing is whether you're a single cancer or a coupled cancer, um, you guys are on the precipice of your destiny, honey. I don't know where that came from either. I felt like uh, Duchess Asia just now. <laughs> okay, anywho, that has been your October reading, Cancer. I hope it has been helpful. Let me know in the comments and whatnot or whatever because I love interacting with you guys. And um, I will see you guys sooner than later. I'm about to go eat some hot wings. What is up with me at this dance today? Okay, hot wings. Okay, love your face. Deuces.